There we go. Well, nothing's mad at me yet. Durbo t-shirt win. What would it look like? Like, Durbo would have to be some kind of, like, weirdo, like, off-brand Wanderbot. Maybe? Thought of this older. You had your voice in sixth grade. Dude, I'm jealous. I was a horrible squeaker when I was young. Like it was it was bad. I was bullied super freaking hard for how bad my voice was. Up until like uh second half of seventh grade, at which point I finally stopped being uh it stopped being super high pitched and terrible. I feel like Durbo would be weird and short. And honestly, I... Okay, got it. Any of you guys remember me playing, um... Mario Party with Shell? Because I'm pretty sure Durbo is just my Monty Mole impression. But, like, given proper name. I'm pretty sure that's that. So now when I'm being like overwhelmingly money money grubby, that's that's me derboing. Nice part was once I got older and bigger, uh, the bullying for the most part stopped. And when it didn't stop, it was a lot easier to stop than when I was a uh, uh, high pitched squeaker. Cause then, eh, it's just difficult. My wrist, my arm's been hurting lately. That glowy thing looks like some real nerd stuff. That's easy. Brutal transcription unit 87.9.5. Order number one. Robot, I need you to monitor these power fluctuations and inform me if they exceed acceptable limits. Hello, my name is Virgil, and I will be serving you today. I specialize in cooking. Flipping and grilling. Grilling? A feature useful only to your obsolete burger flipping brethren now consigned to the scrap. I'm just going to skip this dialogue. We've already heard it before. These readings. Burgle. And isn't it redundant to specialize in cooking Hello there. and grilling? Acting science manager B -b -b Burgle. Fairly well, Brick. Okay. So that Understood. interrupted. A nope. monitor power fluctuations to my prime directive list. Deprioritizing grilling. Good. Now get on with it. Reprioritizing grilling. Old bird is Wander's communist persona. <laughs> Thanks for sure. the helping hand. Why not? I am B -B 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 Burgle, acting science manager for this project. I am also a robot. I am sure this all must be very disorienting for you, but hopefully I can explain. <laughs> I suspect Why? you I could were kill him? and brought here by the ominent researchers. That's concerning. Unfortunately, this is all speculation, because a power surge has knocked out all the systems in this lab. I don't suppose you would know anything about that. No, why would you? Okay, moving on. The batteries here are completely drained, so we'll need to charge them up. In the meantime, I'll stay here and work on repairs. I'm also happy to answer whatever qu 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 questions you might have. Okay, end of story content. So there's actually some science over there. And this is one hell of a, like, underground zone. It's probably terrifying. At least we don't got a spider. Howdy, to, like, wreck me. Okay, found a bur know, burgle bur chip. Is there anything else I can help you with? Okay, Three got work for me. Kill worker ant. Analyze peblet. Got some of those. So we've already got one of them, I guess. So I Howdy, guess it's already it's done. Well, that's handy. Hopefully that gives me. I am. Uh, I am just shy. Shoot. We'll put up a tent in here. Yep. Okay. Oh, but I can't actually put it up in here. That's kind of dumb. How far outside do I have to be? Can I put it up in this cave? That blows. 
And I really want to get over to that thing. Well, one thing we did learn, I can save scum. So that's what I'm going to do. There's probably spiders around here that are going to make me hate myself. I don't think I'm going to be able to get back. And I don't know where any of... where the heck any of the rest of this goes. Yeah, if I saw like a super overt staircase or something, I'd go for it, but I don't. So I'm just going to do this. We're good. Howdy! It's good to see you again! Okay, you trade some raw science. And we want to grab multi-story bases so I can actually make floors. Because what else would this do? Detect nearby raw science. Neat idea. Not too terribly helpful. And the rest of this, yeah, is more expensive than I want. Cool. So we already got what we needed. I'm going to leave. It's probably too late. I feel a bit bad for just punching Burgle in the face, but is what it is. I'm pretty sure it's going to be dark as hell outside. Yep, pretty dark. My spear back? Thank you. Alright, so I got an ant part that we can also re research. Bam! Back here, weevil. Got it. Alright. So we're just gonna I'm sleep. Ready to hit the sack. Alright, life is better. We gotta go kill some ants. We gotta do some things. I'm gonna actually descend back down inside almost immediately, seeing as we found the, uh... I've had worse, I guess. Hydration is the key to performance. Okay. Well, I'll just drink the rest. We gotta clear inventory out. His HP, his HP is still done. I'm really concerned about what would happen if you killed Burgle. Okay, chair and ant club. Okay, crafts, tools. I'm assuming... Ant Club is not a tool. Oh, workbench tools. So ant parts, woven fibers, ant mandibles. Yep, so I'm gonna have to they got hella hella stun. Alright. Let's see, since you have saved scum, you can find out. Oh yeah, you're right. That's a good... That's a good point. What's up, Burgle? Saving, saving. Time to kill Burgle now. Hey, hey! Now! Always happy to see a repeat. Please, c c gonna get... Always happy to see well. a repeat. Three bold quests. There, that's... How we know. Let's see, how big are the spooters? Much bigger than me. Uh, I might be able to go take a peek. But yeah, it looks like Burgle just does not give a hoot. Oh, you know what? There we go. That way I can actually uh, recognize you out of the lineup. That's the trick. But yeah, Burgle, just immortal. Is what it is. Alright, so things we want to do today. We got plenty of thistles. Let's go find... Oof, that got bright nut. Hustle. Grab the Weevil. We gotta go find some acorns. Uh, okay. That there, hard to see, that's a spider. I don't want to get near them because they're murder beasts. I turned the legs off because I'm... I'm a mild insectophobe and a major arachnophobe. And so I don't want to deal with it. Let's see. Oh, another weevil. Uh, let's see. I don't know why my spear came out of my inventory, but whatever. There we go. And there's a science quest done. Yeah. 
Da. Even as a just giant blob beast. Not okay. Luckily, hardcore parkour saves the day. Whew. You know, I never actually put it put down a marker for where home is. Uh, let's see, left. I guess it's super easy. All I have to do is just follow the, uh... I just have to follow the lasers up up in the sky, and then we're good to go. Let's see, I think I need some more sprigs. I probably need other stuff. Okay. So we should have enough, uh... More than enough acorns. A Find water, they say. Silly quest. I have plenty. Okay, so where's the grass? Grass is here. Grab this. Pop this. We want to do floor. I apparently need a lot more grass planks. Oh. Well, here we go. Actually, never, never collected them. My right, grass floor. Bam. Alright, perfect. Now I got a base. I guess what I could do, recycle that, try again, and eh, maybe I'll think about it. Alright, let's light this up. What do we got? We got some weevil. So it looks like the raw meat doesn't... isn't as bad. Uh, let's see. We don't actually have the workbench. I never built it. Good to know. Well, turns out I need more grass blank anyway. I guess I should get kind of choppy for a bit. Uh, let's see. This is dry grass. Which we do need, but not as bad. Oh, yeah. I The base of that just turns into plant fiber. Well, that would have saved me a fair bit of work. In the past. Alright, use workbench. I can make a bunch of things if I wanted to. I don't actually have a lot of clover, but I actually would probably want to make the acorn equipment. Because I need... Durability. Ooh, hauling strength. Oh, got it. So it looks like Acorn gives better defense. The ant stuff is if I want to carry a bunch of things around all at once. Tempting, tempting. The biggest fear is water, so your Subnautica run was a good time. That's amusing. I didn't know that. Oh, inventory is full. Uh, what do we have? Well, I've kind of established that archery is probably not that useful, so I'm not going to focus too hard on it. I don't have too many problems with Subnautica. It's still spooky, but like, it didn't bug me too much. Drowning is definitely a big fear, but I was at least able to separate myself out from it. The Reaper Leviathans were spooky shit, though, and really, really, I was not okay with that sometimes. Ow? Oh, it was a gnat, wasn't it? Came to say hi. Okay, so how do we want to do this? I need a, I need an acorn shovel. That's what I need. Okay, I need some sprigs, woven fiber. Well, I guess I'm gonna go the easy way to get the woven fi woven uh, woven fiber. The archer is useful for killing wolf spiders. The only way you've been able to do it, I yeah, I can imagine. We might have to recycle the baskets and move them around. Uh, hmm. Other question: Can I make this? But I need more woven fiber. Gosh, I need a lot of things. My needs are endless. So what other things legitimately, like, spooked the hell out of me? Uh, kind of in the same, same-ish vein? I don't know. Uh, I was really not keen on Ganon. Uh, 
Shadow Ganon in the Forest Temple. Back in Link's Awakening. He spooked the heck out of me and I could never get over it. I think I did eventually, but it was still, like, not great. Those grass planks be used as a weapon. Nope. Not that I know of. There you are, you little sucker. Come back. There we go. I don't actually know if I need the Natfuzz, but I haven't researched it yet, so there's that. Okay. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Right. We're going to do this, but i got to make woven fiber. Oh, wait. Woven fiber is different from plant fiber. Oh, because, yeah, go figure. Here, I'm stating the obvious. I'm not actually sure if they do damage to me. I think they just bump into me, and that's that's it. See, there's a spike bat you can make with the thistles. Good point. Spiky Sprig just needs the thistle needles. Because, yeah, I'm finding the spear is not as good as I was hoping it would be. Spear's got better speed, no stun. Spiky Sprig, more damage, less speed, plus stun. Alright, we'll give it a go. I think I want the Ant Club, though. That seems like it's probably primo for what I'm trying to do. Uh, let's see, is this one? Okay, uh, let's see. Oh, do I want to make a an actual chest? Let's do an honest-to-goodness chest. But I guess first and foremost, the, let's go back here. Put a wall up. Okay, so we just need grass blanks for that. Bit on the pricey side. But yeah, this way I can get, oh, maybe I should actually go for windows. Nah, it takes more. Okay, so now I got a chest. Chest is so much bigger. There we go. Now let's take all and store what I, whatever I can. Because I think I'm going to be in a position where I just have more resources than I'm ever going to need. We'll just try and store most of it and then come back for it. Probably eat some of the acorn bits instead. Let's see. Now let's move acorn stuff over there. I'm trying to trying to keep somewhat organized. Let's see, I got plenty of pebbles. This is good. More food than I know what to do with. Uh, let's see. Keep taking all. Your rocks. There we go. Silly amounts of mushrooms. Let's see. Is that it? Eh, my inventory's looking pretty good. Alright. So let me... I'm seeing ants. Kind of gross. Luckily, the ants seem pretty kind of worthless. At least these ones do, which is good. All right. So we've killed sufficient amounts of worker ants. That gets the quest done. Uh, let's see. Consume some acorn bits. Get that out of here. Uh, inventory is Okay, so we still got to find some worker ants. Yeah, I haven't seen anything that even, like, comes remotely close to those. Did I make the shovel? No, I never actually did make this. So we need sprig, fiber, and the acorn shell. Okay, maybe I should carry around the acorn bits.
The rest I'll just kind of make on my own. As I will just need endless amounts of things. Let's see. Don't build defenses, it brings the larva. Interesting and terrifying. You know, that reminds me. I actually have access to... I mean, it, I have access to... Everybody has access to... Uh, let's make that. I thought I'd grab some sprigs. Well, I guess I must have been looking at all the clovers and just waving my hands at it, thinking I'd pick it up. There's a sprig. There's a bunch of sprigs. But yeah, did you guys know that Orcs Must Die 3 came out? Because I had no idea. I was just, like, looking at the uh, list of released games recently. I was like... Yeah, Orcs Must Die came out and it's on Stadia, which is great. Uh, find water. Well, this is gonna be a mistake. Can't decide what's worse, the taste or the smell. But yeah, I should probably uh, I should probably load that up at some point. Not that I'm a particularly big fan of the idea of Stadia. I think. I think it was kind of a stupid idea, and the fact that they, it launches as a it launched as a Stadia exclusive was boneheaded to the extreme. But I'm sure Google just paid for all of it, so that's why they did it. Oh hey, secret underwater science! I don't see anything else in here. I think that's actually the deepest water I've been able to find. Okay. Inventory pebbles. Can I? Yeah. There we go. I don't think I'm going to truck with much for ranged weapons here. Yeah, Bliss Stadia. Sur no surprise, no one knew. It's tragic, too, because Orcs Must Die is quite possibly, like, one of my favorite series that I've ever had the pleasure of playing. <laughs> but yeah. That tastes really good. There we go. Now we got our water. Perfect. Hey, thank you, Mod Maker, for the 23 month resub. One more year till, uh, one more month till two years. So, as the last stream of this, do you think the spider didn't attack the bombardier because the bombardier could actually defend itself? Unsure. My assumption is it just didn't defend itself, uh, because maybe, you know, I have no idea. That's probably the case, but I feel like the two would fight each other. Studio did close for a little while. Did the Orcs Must Die studio actually close? Oh, might have. I know I know Orcs Must Die Unchained shut down. Which I really wish they had just repackaged that as like a uh as like a single player or like a non-MMO thing. I'm sure it wouldn't work. Is there a point to clay? I'm sure there probably is. Okay. So I still don't know where ants are. Things are spooky. Do I want to just wander the heck off? Build some more stuff? Hmm. I guess we should probably go find some more acorns. Bust them up. Maybe grab quests? No, we've already grabbed quests for today. Did we? No, there's, there's more quests for today. That tree's over there. Oh, okay, so I did get recipes for clay foundations and ramps and stuff. Okay. I was under the delusion that I guess you needed to uh, research stuff to actually unlock the recipes, but no, that's how you get the high tier recipes instead. I understand. Let's see, inventory. I should still have. Nope, everything's spoiled. Mm. Oh, I got acorn bits. Can't waste food. Can't waste food. Mm. Can't waste food. I love how it really makes the the tree look very far away using, you know, the blurring, but it's actually just like a 20 second run. This reminds you of Fallout 76, but way better. Fallout 76 could have been such a good game. I wanted to like it so much. I still might go back at some point and just play some. Not necessarily because it's good, but because, like, I don't know, a mixture of nostalgia and some other things. Because it's still shit. You know, I truly have no idea. 
I have it on... I'm pretty sure I have it on, on Steam now. And I just didn't load it Feeling up. Refreshed. I probably should. Just, just to see. Because I enjoyed what I played previously. I My main sticking point on Fallout 76, truly, honestly, truly, is just the fact that they didn't have private multiplayer. And now that they do, you have to pay for it. But whatever, that's something I can shell out for just because it's my job. Let's see. Complete marker at Great Oak Beacon. I have no idea where that one is. So wonder, do you want damage or attack speed? Eh. I'll just take what comes. I gotta go find some ants. Let's see. The only unfortunate thing they did with the Steam version was that your atoms weren't synced between. Which kind of sucks. I don't think I had many. If I had any. But like, what I want... What I want, and what I've always wanted out of Fallout, uh, is, you know, private lobby multiplayer. That you host yourself, you mod yourself, you set your own settings, and I will pay any price. Like, charge me an extra, bleh, just for the, just for the, the hosting kit. I'll take it. I'll live with it. But don't give me this, like, weird pseudo-MMO nonsense, because that, that just, that hurts. I don't want to play that, because it's always balanced bad, and then you're forced to play with other people you don't care about. Like, I don't want to run into some random Joe Schmuck running around in full power armor with, like, super guns that, you know, can't do a thing to me, and I can't do a thing to him, and neither of us really want to interact with each other anyway, so, bleh. Okay, let's see if he has any quests. It is nice to see a three-bold quest of... Okay, so we've already completed the other ones. Okay. Great Oak Beacon is but one of many lost light sites in the land. Only Ghost of Trail markers left behind by doomed explorers remain. Raise the bones of these structures and reveal them to the realm. Okay. Any price, million dollars. Okay. Not any price, but I, I would... I would gladly pay an extra, like, 50, 60 just for the... the ability to host my own private server of Fallout 76 with mods. And I know that's, like, devil's bargain, but that would be actual fun. It's super worth it. Now, I'm assuming I can't do anything with that spider web. It's just there. Yeah, so there's just a bit of spider web and nothing more. All right. It's definitely better now than it was at launch. Addition of private servers and actual NPCs made it more enjoyable. Yeah, I should give it a go. Uh, if if I get some free time again, maybe I will. Because I I don't know how many of you guys followed my channel four years ago, but I like I played a ton of Fallout 4. I did a lot of cool things. Oh, I need a tool to gather the spiderweb. Gotcha. Uh, I, I, half my channel was kind of built around the idea of playing weird, dumb things in Fallout 4. And so, when 76 was announced, I was, uh, to be mildly honest, I was over the moon. Okay, there's, there's my shovel. Because I thought it was going to be great. Uh, let's see, what do we get rid of? I guess, honestly, I'm just going to drink. Oh. Hydration is the key to performance. Guess. Okay, I don't really need the grub meat. I need the gri grub hides and goop. Because that'll get us a canteen. That said, I don't really know if we need a canteen now that I'm thinking about it. Well, I got it. That's all that matters. Slurp that, though. That doesn't really help me. So, next up, we gotta go find where ants live. That's how I found Wanda the Never Leaves Sanctuary Challenge. Like, it's it's legit tempting to just do another one of those. And just see what new mods have come out for Fallout 4. Because uh, one of the problems I've been running into a lot lately is that... 
so many games I play are early access. And I love them. I love the potential. I love seeing, you know, how things turn out. I despise playing unfinished games. It is onerous, it is disappointing, and it makes me not want to play the 1.0 release. Because it's one of those where, like, I've already played it before. Like, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get kind of tired of this game eventually, and, you know, this is a game that I could probably come back to a couple years from now and be super happy about it. Same, same reason why I can come back to Terraria. Uh, year after year, Astroneer year after year, because the core gameplay loop is fun enough to keep me interested. Uh, but I I think I was even talking about this yesterday or the day before with Monster Sanctuary. Love Monster Sanctuary, but I don't actually really want to play Monster Sanctuary until it's done done, because the alternative is just pain. Because I will play for like a couple, you know, maybe a couple hours, and then it's like, and now we wait again, and every subsequent, and now we wait again, uh, it makes me less excited to play more of it. Let's see, most people you've seen play this get bored after about six hours. That's entirely fair. And Wander from Grav. Love how that game worked and got us upset it was abandoned. Me too. Grav, Grav had some potential. 